Welcome to today's book talk. Today we're going to be talking about Lilac Girls. I just finished this recently. As always, the beginning of this video is spoiler free, so if you're interested in the book, I will give you a quick little overview and then I'll get into the more spoilery sections and I will always warn you guys before I head into that section of the video. So when I first um, picked up this book or heard of this book, I thought it was about three women who kind of worked together, sort of like the Nightingale um, during the war. That's not really the story at all. We do follow three characters, but they're actually three completely separate perspectives. So we have Caroline's character. Caroline is an American living in America. She loves all things French, and she's a very, very generous person. She runs a lot of charities. She volunteers at the French consulate. She loves, as I said, all things French. I really liked Carolyn's um, point of view. I thought she was very sweet. I really liked her character. Um, there just was a romantic aspect that was not my favorite. It felt a little rushed and a little thrown in for people who wanted the romance, but I just wasn't really into that part. It was a very small part though. I really enjoyed her character and I loved watching how it ended up wrapping around to fit into the story. Caroline, its character is based on a real life person as well as the next character I'm going to talk about, Herta. She is also a real life person. She was a female doctor, the only female doctor who worked at the Ravensbrück concentration camp in Germany during World War II and she was one of the doctors who worked um, with Gebhardt's rabbits or the Ravensbrück rabbits, which was a group of women that they used essentially as science experiments. And then you get um, Cassia's point of view, and she is a Polish girl who ends up being taken to a concentration camp, and so her point of view is experiencing the camp and everything that went on there. Um, I really... Cassia's point of view was my favorite point of view, but her character wasn't necessarily my favorite character. I expected this book to make me cry. It didn't, but I really loved learning about the story. It was a really good book. I rated this four stars. I really enjoyed it. I liked watching how things wrapped around and like came full circle in the end. I, I loved seeing how everything kind of made sense and came together. It was a really good read. I really recommend this if you love historical fiction. I also loved getting the perspective or a perspective that we don't see as often. I always find that interesting when I get a perspective I haven't seen yet. Granted, there is lots of historical fiction out there and I am still just kind of delving through it, but I loved getting the perspective of um, like a Polish person and like when Germany took over Poland. I just really loved getting kind of a fresh perspective. Similar kind of story, I guess, to a lot of the other ones, but just a different perspective and a different group of people. And this was something um, that I hadn't heard of before. I didn't know about the rabbits before reading this book, so I thought that was very interesting. And in the back, she actually includes a good chunk of where she, what she did to get her research, how she found everything. It was very interesting, so I suggest to read the back when you're done because it does give you a lot of insight onto where she put the story together from and I thought that was very interesting. Anyway, if you're interested in reading this book, pause, go read it, and come back because I am going to get into the spoiler section now. When this started, I would say the first 30 pages or so, um, it was a little cutesy for me. It starts with Carolyn's perspective and you do get that like the romance off the bat kind of made my skin go, ooh, like it wasn't, it was just so abrupt the way that it happened and it just seemed a little unbelievable and I already didn't like it at the start because it was a love triangle beginning and then when it says that his wife dies but then they go to get together and then his wife's not dead and they have this secret child, I felt like that all could have been done away with and the story would have been just as good if not better because it would have just focused on Carolyn who is a real life person but I understand throwing in some romance for people who really love that in a story because I know some people do love that aspect it just wasn't for me however that was a very small portion of the story and I did love Carolyn's character uh there was a point in the book where I felt like it could have ended at the time I thought it could have ended there and it would have been um a good story and so I was kind of like, there was still maybe 100 pages left, and I was like, oh, where is this gonna go? It did not need to end there. There was a lot more to the story. Um, obviously, it's the spoiler part, but when it comes around to the fact that Carolyn goes to Poland 
and meets these girls, brings them back, and gets them care and reconstructive surgery for the various, um, uh, what am I saying, deformities that were caused in the camp. I thought that was really cool, and when I learned at the end, because going into this, I didn't, I didn't read anything. I didn't know it was set on a based on a true story. So obviously Carolyn's character was very important. I just couldn't figure out why and I was getting a little stale. And it, it, it was just because I didn't know where it was going. But where it went was great. I read the last couple hundred pages like in a day. I thought that I thought it was so good. I, I just ate this book up so fast. And then Herta's character, I don't know how much is based on fact or fiction or whatever, like with her background and stuff. Um, she was a doctor. She was the only female one to work at Ravensbrook. It says that in the back. But as far as like um, the sexual assault in the beginning, I don't know if that was actually how her story started or if it was kind of incorporated to give you a little bit of empathy to her character because her character was very cold and very harsh. She had glimpses of personality, or not personality, glimpses of like a redeeming kind of quality in there. There were times when you could tell she felt remorseful or she cared for people, but at the end of the day, her job was more important than humanity, and that was really sad. Like, I still, every time I read these stories, I cannot believe that these things really happened. Even if it's, like, a fictional story, the things that happened really happened, and it's so unbelievable that people can do that to other people, and I think that's why... I don't know why, but like that's why I like reading it because it's just so crazy and terrifying and sad and heartbreaking that that people could just use people like like lab rats. I just oh I couldn't imagine doing something like that to another person, and it's just so crazy to to know that so many people were manipulated into believing Hitler's entire ideal. Like oh it's just awful. Anyway, Hertha's character. I really, obviously, she wasn't one that you were supposed to like. She was a bad guy. She was, did terrible, terrible things. But she also, you could tell there was a remorseful aspect where she was, like, self-harming herself because she just couldn't handle it. But at the end of the day, it was for the good of Germany, she thought. And a lot of people did think that. It's just, oh, so horribly sad. And then you get Kasia's point of view, who was one of the rabbits and went through this and actually Kasia and her sister are based off of real people but this isn't their exact story as far as I know um and their names were changed in the book but I loved uh Kasia's mother and her sister I thought that they were very forgiving and loving and sweet and I just really loved that in like the face of having so much horrible stuff happen to them they kept this very loving heart, and that would be so hard to do, but I honestly think that's the best way to go. And her mother at some point in the book says, it's like they're talking about when they would go to the wall, um, what they would do on their last walk, and she said that she would collect a bunch of flowers and she would give them to the people and essentially forgive them for not knowing what they were doing, and it reminded me of, it reminded me of the Bible verse, forgive them for the know not what they do and I just thought that like that broke my heart when she said that because even in the face of her death like her imminent death she was forgiving the people who wronged her and I just thought that was so beautiful and her sister was very forgiving because Kasha was very quick to say hurtful things she was very bitter and very angry and granted that makes total sense considering their situation and then another thing her mother said was like that hating them only hurts you and that was very true because Kasia like she hated them so much and then for years afterwards it was like ruining her life because she was so angry all the time whereas her sister learned to kind of let it go I guess in a sense and move on with her life and just be glad that she wasn't there anymore and so I thought that was like interesting to see those kind of things but I did think Kasia was very bitter and I feel like a lot of it was like directed at like the wrong people and I do understand it but I still just felt bad because it was directed at like her stepmom who it wasn't her fault at all and clearly she was just feeling really guilty because she felt like she got her mom murdered and it was just really really sad 
but I just loved this book. I thought it was really good, really well done for the for like a first novel especially. I really want to go ahead and read Lost Roses, but I, I think that it's going to be really great if it's anything like this one. I'm going to really enjoy it. This was one that I thought was going to be five stars, but like I said, I did end up going with four stars just because there was a couple things that pulled me back out of the story a little bit, but overall really recommend this. I think it was very much worth the time. I loved that it was based on a true story and I just love, I really enjoyed my experience of reading it. Anyway, I think that's everything that I have to say about this book. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you liked or disliked about La Lock Girls. Just open the chat section down there and I would love to talk to you guys. I thought this was really great. And I know that it's been pretty well loved. Like, I don't know what the average rating is on Goodreads, but I think it's above a four, which is pretty good. And I just really loved it. Anyway, I will talk to you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye!